Well, it's pretty crappy, nasty outside. So I figured I would uh, show you how to replace the batteries on these meters. Um, if you've ever used one, you know that sometimes the batteries go dead. The uh, battery in this one is actually still good, but the meter is fried because my uncle decided uh, to test a 7,000 volt electric fence with it and uh, it only goes up to 500 volts so that fried that meter but this one is uh, an old analog meter and uh, it doesn't have enough battery power to run the uh, run on the ohm scale it doesn't even move so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and replace the battery in it which isn't too big of a deal. I think I got this meter for you know, not even ten bucks I don't think. And it's worked for a long time. It used to be my backup meter but then that digital one got fried so it's kind of become my only meter and the fact that it doesn't work very well kind of sucks. So pull off that back plate and there's the battery in there. I don't know if you can see all, <laughs> all the rust on it, but that's probably why it's no good. So I'm going to just pop it out, throw a new battery in, and we'll uh, put the backing plate back on. Let me get that screw out of there. Slide that back in. And my meter should work. We'll see what happens. There we go. All right, now I've got it on the ohm scale, so when I touch the leads together, the meter should move, and there it goes. And there's a little, uh, little adjustment on the side. When I put these two together, I can go ahead and turn this wheel. It's called the zero adjust, and I can bring the uh, ohms to zero when they're connected, and that way I'll have uh, an accurate reading if I was to test something so always make sure you turn them off otherwise you run the battery dead <coughs> now this one's a fried one but I'll show you real quick what's inside here and how to replace the battery on a digital one pretty much the same deal except it uses a uh, this one uses a 9 volt battery instead of a one and a half volt there's the battery there. You can just uh, unplug it and put a new one in. But uh, this one's actually shot. Now the fuse here is blown, and I think the circuitry is fried from when he hooked it up to that uh, to that immense voltage. Yeah, it doesn't even want to turn on anymore. It was turning on earlier, but it wasn't reading right. So it's toasty, but whatever. There's also a fuse in here, this thing, <coughs> which uh, if you hook it up wrong, you're going to need to replace that little fuse. And uh, if you hook it up, let's say you put it on amps, and you go to the unfuse section, or the unfuse terminal, and uh, you go ahead and hook it to a battery, it will fry this meter. <laughs> had a guy do that once, and it smoked this whole back uh, piece right there. Because you know, I think, well, he didn't even switch the meter. He was testing the voltage and put it on voltage, but he had it plugged into the wrong port, and that actually uh, actually smoked the meter pretty good. So don't do that. Uh, but that's how you replace the the little fuse and the battery in these meters if you need to do it. And if you have a meter, odds are at some point you're going to have to replace it. Yeah, turns out I've also got my uh, iPod apart at the moment. I had to fix a couple of problems. One being the uh, center button here uh, was pushed in, and this is kind of a common problem. So I went ahead and I took it apart and I fixed that, which was no big deal. But uh, the other thing I need to fix is uh, this headphone jack. Um, it quit working. You know, you'd only get uh, sound out of one side, so. Once I scrape together a couple of bucks, I'll buy a new one of these and replace it. Um, <clears throat> I was supposed to leave, actually, for work about two weeks ago out of state, but uh, they've postponed it until 
the second week in January so I won't have uh, too much money until then but uh, once I get the the money for it the extra cash that I don't need to use to pay bills or buy gas or that sort of thing I'll go ahead and fix this too